All right, folks, anytime I see a Pac-Man course, I make sure to click on it and play it. And another winner here, Stewart Creek, is where we find ourselves today. Uh, no idea how I played. We'll have to watch and see. But starting off here on one with a kind of a pop-up, a little pop-up drive. Got under it a tad. 362 yard par 4 though we're going to end up 112 away. Now what I will say about this round is this is the first round with the new shafts. So I have switched from graphite shafts to steel. I was never really fitted for these graphite shafts. Uh, I had got them off of eBay. They were too light and they had all kinds of consistent inconsistencies with the face angle mostly uh, so a lot of pulls and then a push and then a pull and it felt like it was stable for me but the results were never really quite there and so I settled on it being possibly a shaft issue I wanted to go steel because I do play in the winter and in this garage a lot and I thought the steel would just be a little more robust in the long run as well um, they're a little shorter is the other change so we'll see um, well yeah I didn't hit that one good but because they're shorter um, I'm hunched over a little more and uh, that changes a little bit of my attack angle and a, a couple other things that I, I just got to get used to this round the next round um, and then I really I played good in the live stream the other day was the third round um, the uh, Central Park live stream was my third round with those steel shafts um, and then I took the whole sim apart and went absolutely nuts with my uh, sim space now is getting completely changed so Lots going on in the D-Lud Golf world at Stewart Creek Golf and Country Club. We're climbing up the hill here. You can see the course just kind of climbs up and then down the hill. It's got some really interesting holes. The scenery is really nice. The trees, uh, I think that Pac-Man, he does like a better job than everyone else with tree detail um, and still keeping the course playable. So, everything looking good here. I thought that was actually going to be good. It's like a 7 iron or something that I was able to keep low enough. But they've got this categorized as deep rough. And so it's really going to struggle to get out of there most of the time. That was really lucky. Ended up bouncing up there for a bogey. Uh, so, plus 2 through 4. Not... Not the greatest, but it's also a new shaft on the driver. And uh, during the Central Park live stream, I really found, found that driver. And like that swing just looks so much better um, being in that posture. I thought that looked really good on camera. Ends up being a nice par. A little low spin, but I kind of flighted it, so it worked out. Par 5, 6. We're still just going up the mountain here. There's where that driver comes in. When I can do that every time. Side spin 4. Take that. And 270s, like usually max. So if we're hitting it there, I'm liking that. Kind of fluffed that one. Still getting used to the flex of those irons uh, during this round. You'll see me kind of aiming right, aiming left, and just trying to find it. Um, from 76, good chance for a birdie, and that came up short, unfortunately and a par and we continue to climb up this mountain and we will head to a par four 400 yards would love to have just another 
drive just like that last one. Not as efficient, but still pretty good. Cool hole here kind of falls down to the left and flattens out where the green is. There's a good strike. And so now kind of finding those irons there. Height was good. Still kind of low spin, but the descent angle was good. Um, and we got the distance we wanted out of it. So not too upset there. 210 It's a tough par 3 there. This one's out to the right. Should bounce down a little. Ooh, not very much out of that deep rough. Didn't quite know how far to hit this and blew it by. Was on a 23 degree downslope too. Um, so it just shot more forward than I thought. Gave it a run to try and save par, but we'll have a bogey there. And then we kind of turn around on nine and start heading downhill with a 31 yard downhill. I think I'm hitting a seven iron which is usually like my 165 club and I topped it and it came out kind of dead spin which saved me but you can see a 147 carry went almost 197 so um, you got to really adjust there if I hit that good I think I had a chance because it needed some spin to stay in the air all right back nine still at plus three uh, got under that one again. I'm finding with my old driver, I liked to tee it down a lot. And I felt like I could kind of cover it that way and hit it like a three wood. With uh, this new shaft in there, I have the opposite feeling. I feel like I got to really uh, get a tee up in the air a little bit and get underneath it. Just the way the kick point is at the end. Um, I think is what's doing that. Ooh, bad chip. Not a good chip. Yeah, that's terrible. Ooh. Gave it a run, but a double bogey? Eek. All right, not great, but a double bogey there on 10. Still plus five through 10, not the worst round ever. And with new irons, I'm not sure I was really expecting uh, greatness the first time out. Uh, the new driver shaft, again, like that's where we need to live. This uh, 17 launch 24 spin or 17 launch 22 spin, that's the kind of profile that I'm looking for off the tee. I wouldn't mind like a 14 launch either. Get it low. From 94 yards, needs a big bounce. It does make the green, but not really aggressive enough. Good look at the background there. Just kind of endless forest and some mountains. Very isolated feeling course here at Stewart Creek. 192 taking a four iron and pulling it left. I have like a hybrid thing I want to try. I hit that four iron good on course, so I don't really need to fix it, but uh, it's not my favorite club, that's for sure. And it's got a weird weight to it. The swing weight's certainly different um, than everything else I have. Whoa. Really leaned back on that one. Got the ball speed up to 146, which is good for me. Uh, but just didn't quite straighten that out. I think I took the hybrid there out of the deep rough. Bounce it off the left. Roll it up near the pin. And a little tap in birdie. Uh, you know, just your normal 190 carry hybrid from the deep rough that goes 164. Uh, exactly, you know. Um, off the tee, taking a 5 iron and roasting it. I thought I had plenty of room there. I think that was actually a 6. And it went 200. So finding 
and that swing looked really good too. So that the shaft change, I think, was it's gonna end up being a big game changer for me in my iron consistency. Um, just keeping it on track, like I just don't like thinking I'm swinging straight. Head thinks I hit it straight. Hands feel like I hit it straight, and I look up and it's twenty yards left. Like it's a weird feeling, and I think it was mostly due to that really light, flimsy shaft, um, and just not feeling the club on the arc. And I, the way that I'm finishing here, where the hands are higher, I think it's just a much better place to be. And it's probably gonna make my back feel better too, to be honest. So a couple like decent pars there after the uh, birdie mixed in, and we had to 16, long par four for me, four, three, two. Got to cut the corner a little and got to hit it good. Under the first tree, over the second tree, and tagged. Everything just looking really good there stats-wise. 162. I do find with these clubs that I'm getting like much more width, straight right arm, longer type of feeling. Um and then I can just fire and uh, that was a good example of that a birdie on the card and we're fighting our way back it's plus a three I, I remember thinking right now that uh, I had a chance you know like let's birdie another one this one lands whole high and skims just a bit by and into the fairway which is a shame that was a good shot came out a little uh, knuckly and then I thought I actually gave that a chance, but uphill ends up stopping. We got one more shot here to get to plus two after being plus five or something. I think would be quite the accomplishment. Need one more good drive. And I got under it, darn it. Not going to get there in two, but going to have a... Decent chance at laying up. There's water down there. So it looks like we're just going short left with like a nine iron or something. Hit it down the hill. We'll be within under 90 yards with a good look at it. Let's see if we can put it close. Ending birdie. Decent effort. Big bounce. Turn left. Ugh. Almost. 36 on the back though the blue tees were 6700 yards Saturday pins Stewart Creek really fun Pac-Man good job uh, really good greens and fairways from me and a decent handicap at the end we'll see ya peace